so uncivilized. Hello everyone and welcome back to IMO Reviews. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of a very run-of-the-mill review of Kenobi that's probably going to sound just like everybody else's, a stupid plot that treats its audience like idiots, a complete lack of stakes, jumping sharks and not delivering on promises, lack of direction and cohesion to a story, retconning past events that now make zero sense whatsoever, changing a character's personality and behaviours without any build-up or reason behind it. The list goes on. So rather than wait for Disney to actually give a shit about this product that they just bought for an unholy amount of billions, I figured I'd show them up and prove that a literal YouTuber can do better. I mean, many of them have. Just go on YouTube and type in Star Wars fan films. There's hundreds of them, and many of them are better than what Disney have put out. And they don't even have a quarter of the budget. So I'm not doing anything that new. I'm just joining the cool kids. And I have a list of five things that Disney needs to do to fix Star Wars. And that is your very quick reminder to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and please do hit the comment section as well. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one. And of course, we thank you if you do. Step one is an easy one, but a vital one. Set targets. See the bigger picture first, not just where the money can be made. Roadmap a story, not a franchise. Pardon my French, but I sincerely mean it when I say I fucking hate seeing these kinds of pictures because that tells me that you have zero focus on any one single project here. It's all just about how to bounce from this movie to that movie to that movie to that movie. In a bloody 10 year window, it's excessive, it's unnecessary and it does not allow room for change. What if a cast member was to pass away and you've already set them in stone for a movie that's not going to be coming out until 20... 39 or something mental like that. I don't like them, I think it's stupid, and every time I see them, it just removes any and all faith that I have in their upcoming pictures. And it is a perfect segue into my second point. Focus on the now. Build your story brick by brick. Anything worth its while and with good longevity will always have solid foundations. If all you ever do is constantly focus on selling and setting up the very next project coming out, then you're never actually going to have a product worth caring about. And in 10 years time, when we go to revisit these and binge watch them, we'll be left with absolutely nothing but tease after tease after tease after tease after tease, with nothing actually ever happening of any drama, substance, or any evolution to a story None whatsoever. Just sell the next product. Stop that shit now. If you keep it up, people will just stop going to watch the movies, wait till every single one of them is out, and then they'll just watch them when they're free. People are not made of money. People do not have endless budgets like movies do. That $9.99 you're spending at the cinema, that could be better spent. Whether it's food or shopping or bills, whatever floats your boat. Filmmakers and studios do have a responsibility to make sure that that £10 that you're spending is worth your time. Not just teasing you to come back and spend another £10 to do it again next year. Actually, not even next year, next month. Point number three, be brave and believe in yourself. We need new characters. We need new stories. It is too easy to consistently fall into the trap of knowing these characters will definitely bring an audience in. And the series is basically done now, so most pretty much every character does have a start, middle and end, and that is set in stone. So to go back to an old character, my God, is it limited as to what you can actually do with them. And if you do try and do something with them, then you just piss people off because you're changing the bloody law again. Hit the damn reset button. There are so many interesting factions and characters in this universe, and apparently endless planets too, except for all of them seem to just be Tatooine, that I truly struggle to understand why every single one of these movies looks and feels exactly like the last one. Keep the heartbeat of Star Wars, but my god, be adventurous with it. How have you never ever learnt that from the original series? 4, 5 and 6 did not spend the entire bloody time on Tatooine. No, they went to Hoth. They went to Cloud City. Incredible sceneries and landscapes that I will never ever forget. Why does this not connect with you? I don't... Arr! If you want to and if you must, 
use an old character or an old storyline, just be respectful of it. Don't do a Ryan Johnson and wipe your ass completely with it. I do kind of agree with Ryan Johnson's intentions, but he would, should not have done the middle movie of a trilogy. He should have set things off and said, that's where we're starting and that's the direction we're going in. Not flown directly in the face of what had already been set up because then that just literally was like lighting a dynamite stick on the whole thing. But I digress. Star Wars does have rules. Star Wars does have law. Appreciate it and follow it. Be a fan, be respectful. Sometimes in Star Wars, yeah, you can see it coming a mile away, but that thing still needs to happen because that's what happens in Star Wars, whether it be someone losing a hand or a father and a son relationship only ever being a rule of two. These things exist and they do matter. I guess what I'm trying to say is echo, don't repeat. Point number four, and this one might just be a personal one for me, but my God, has it got on my gears for quite a while now. No more celebrity cameos. Enough with this shit. You're not choosing people based on their skill or ability or actual fit to a character. No, it's just this guy from Rizzle Kicks likes Star Wars, so fuck it, he's in. I like Star Wars, does that mean I get a role? This should feel special. This should feel like an opportunity of a lifetime, not a Happy Meal toy that anybody can get. It further feeds into the monopoly rather than the strategy. I will make a slight exception to that rule. O'Shea Jackson Jr., who is Ice Cube's son and has been in Kenobi, I actually thought he was very good. He is a talented actor, but it still didn't stop me from looking at him and thinking, oh, that's Ice Cube's son. And every time I think that, yeah, it's pulling me out of the show. I guess what I'm trying to say is, Star Wars, stop pimping yourself out like you're not worth more, because you are. Point number five, set up a Jedi Council. This might sound a little bit weird and it, does sort of already exist, but I personally think it needs some changes made to it. Lucas, Favreau, and the Holy Filoni. And I'll discuss George Lucas first because he's probably raising some red flags for you guys. Like, he sold the damn thing, he's not involved. I know, I know. But it doesn't stop the fact that he actually created it. And that does kind of mean that this whole thing doesn't exist without him. I don't know the guy personally, I don't know if he still cares about Star Wars. He, I wouldn't blame him if he's just sort of done with it by at this point. It has pretty much sculpted his entire life and existence. He might be a bit sick of it. But I do still think that he's the Grand Master here. If you're not sure, you do need to speak to him, ask him, and clear up your problems to see if this flies. Does this work? Is this okay? Don't be afraid to fact check yourself. You can't look stupid from having a doubt, but you can look stupid by thinking you've nailed it, chucking it on the telly for billions to see, and then everyone turning around going, what the hell was that? Because you never stopped to think about it. I personally would have George Lucas, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni as the main members of that Jedi Council. And the job of that Jedi Council is essentially to be fact checkers. Make sure everything's running smoothly, make sure there's no problems, that the writers are writing good material, that obeys the law and doesn't fuck things up from 10, 15 years ago. The Jedi Council of quality control, and boy, does Star Wars need it. The only time I now care or genuinely have faith in a Star Wars product is if I hear Dave Filoni or Jon Favreau were very heavily involved in the making of it, because I trust those guys to give a shit. I trust that they are fans like me. I trust that they care as much as I do. And I might not love everything that they do, but my God, it's it 10 times better than this mushy, childish, Disney, unrecognized, shadow pale shit of itself. I don't even know if that makes sense, but I'm angry, so that'll do. So there we have it. They are my five pointers for Disney to fix Star Wars. And if you're curious, I'm gonna give Kenobi a four out of 10. I was so, so, so disappointed in this show. And frankly, I feel like an idiot for thinking it would be better. What inkling gave me that idea? It's a Disney Star Wars product that's heavily relying on nostalgia. Hmm. When has that worked for this franchise in the past? I gained nothing. You told me nothing. Characters have not evolved or developed at all. Yeah, Vader gets to be a bit cool here, but that's about it. Shit just straight up doesn't make sense. Why is Camille Nanjiani a fake Jedi when Jedi are one of the most wanted and desperately hunted things right at this time? Like the last thing you should want to be and willingly showing people that you are 
is a Jedi right now. That's a one-way trip to a fun afternoon. Hello? Are you in there, Disney? Anyone thinking? Well, at least I feel better having gotten that off my chest and hopefully this video can be cathartic for you if you also are feeling a little bit disappointed in Star Wars under Disney's guidance. Thank you for watching this review. Please do hit that like button and that subscribe button and please do hit the comment section as well. I'd love to know what you guys thought of this video and of Kenobi. Take care and I look forward to seeing you on the next review.